All right, listen up. Defense is the key tonight. If we want to win, we need to play a very physical defensive game. Take it to him. You guys ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Come on. Let's get him. It's College Hoops on 2K Sports. The St. John's Red Storm take on the Connecticut Huskies. We should have a great one in store for you today. Welcome, everyone. We're here at the Harry A. Gamble Pavilion. I'm Bernd Lundquist with my partner, Bill Raffery, and our sideline reporter, Bonnie Bernstein. What's your take on this, Bill? I'll really be watching the matchup at the four spot. Number four is arguably the best power forward in the nation today. He's built like a tank. The big fella is an intimidator. Number 34 is also a star at the power forward position. He's got impressive ball handling ability for a big fella. He's just as comfortable facing up as posting up. Both of them are great competitors. It should be a compelling game to watch. The Huskies control the tip-off, and we'll get this one started. The game has just begun, and they're already in the minimum. Feeds it to the top of the key. Number 12. Lobs it to the middle. Backs in. Number four. Shoots the turnaround. Number one. Grabs the rebound. Terrific rebound. That's how you get into position on the offensive class. Number four. Gets it. Baseline. It's off. Connecticut is going to have to work hard to establish some chemistry, Vern, and quickly. Because this is a young lineup that hasn't played with each other very long. Lead pass, top of the key. Number 12. Catches it, high post. The Huskies turn this one over, out of bounds. That was just a lack of communication right there. One guy was going one way, while the passer was thinking just the opposite. Outside. Passes it to the right side. Number 34 backs him down. Number four. Swings it to the outside. Pulls the trigger. Rebounded by number 40. Number 40. Didn't get that rebound by accident. He knew right where to be. That last shot off the mark. Number one. Gets it down low. Hit it. Got fouled. And he'll have a shot at the three-point point. Oh, look at the physicality. Powered it through the contact and hit. He can't complete the three-point play. Now let's check in with the third member of our team, Bonnie Bernstein. Bonnie? A little while ago, caught up with the head coach of the Huskies, and he told me the biggest concern tonight is the other team's speed. He said, we know what we're up against, and so there aren't any excuses. We don't hustle back on D every time out. They'll be dropping layups on us the entire game. Thanks, Bonnie. Swing pass outside. Number four. Catches it, left wing. Number 12, dishes it far side. Hooked away, but it's tracked down by Cincinnati. Outside. Feeds it to the outside. They need to get a shot off. Number 12, releases. Can't connect from long range. Under 18 minutes left in the half. Number two, tosses it up. Doesn't get the go-ahead basket to fall. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over-anxious. Bounces it to the outside. Number 12, has it outside. Perimeter, number one. Number 34 grabs the rebound inside. Oh, the big fellow with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Releases from 16 feet. Grabbed by number one. He may have been too open on that one. I think it caught him off guard a little bit. Gets it middle. 
Number one catches the nice lead pass in strong and hits the layup. You know he's not missing that one. The D needs to try and keep with him, Vern. It's a two-point differential. They're set up in minimum. Number 34 skips it to the corner. They wasted no time right there. The opportunity was there, and they seized it. About 16 and a half minutes left in the half. Perimeter. Lobs it cross court. Backs down. Number four. Passes it to the baseline. The steal. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them. He made off with that one. Number four. Shoots it. Can't take the lead. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over-anxious. Number one gets it top of the key. Pass, perimeter. Number four backs him down. Has it high post. Number one swings it to the perimeter. Outside, fires the three. Yes, this guy is fun to watch, Vern. He can really fill it up. Number two inbounds the ball, and it's a three-point game. Dishes it to the right side. Number 34 backs him down, pulls up from the elbow, hauled down off the board by number 34. Right around 15 minutes left in the half. Number 12. Beats it to the outside. Number four gets it outside. Lead pass, perimeter. Number 12 catches it in the paint. Number 34, the up and under. Number four pulls it in. Look at this little guy getting it done down low. You love to see him in there. That last 16 footer was off the mark by number two. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over-anxious. It's a five-point game. Number four passes it to the wing. Inside. Backs in. From in close. Nothing but net by number 40. We are not used to seeing him own the low blocks like that, Bill. But he fought like crazy inside. Got the bucket. You've got to love that effort. Number one throws it up. Comes up empty from the wing. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. Swings it to the outside. Number 34. Bounces it to the corner. Number four has it outside. Left side. Number three dumps it off. Number two. Pretty pass by number 34. The D was just standing around. Somebody's got to pick up the shooter. Number 34 inbounds the ball. And it's a one-point game. Gets it outside. Snatched down by number 34. Right around 13 minutes left in the half. Number four hands it off. That last inside shot buried by number two. You have to body up in the paint if you're the defense. Easy two. Number 12 dishes it to the outside. Perimeter. Lobs it to the baseline. Number four backs him down. Number 11. Passes cross court. Number 12 catches it. Defense left block. Foul. foul as he went up, and he'll go Passes to the line for a couple. Foul. Second team foul. Gets the one to tie it. This next one would put them in front. He gives them the lead. Oh, 
kicked away. And it's scooped up by number 21. About 12 and a half minutes left in the half. Shoots the turnaround. Snatched inside by number 34. Swing pass outside. Number 50 pulls the trigger. Doesn't get the go-ahead basket to fall. He missed that one, but if they keep leaving him that open, they'll eventually pay for it. Stolen away by number 34. Off-balance shot. It was drained by number 15. Nice skip pass. That fella always finds the seam. You know what kind of defense they're in, don't you, Vern? Man, man. Number 12 dumps it off. Just one point separating the teams. Oh, the quick hands. Before they even knew what hit them, he made off with that one. I love the strength. He fought through the foul, no problem. And that'll give him the three-point chance. He completes the three-point play. Connecticut will take its first timeout. And it's a four-point game. Backs in. Number one has it left wing. Number 12 bounces it far side. Perimeter. Dishes to the left. Number one from about 19 feet. Swishes it through. Nice look to find the open man on the perimeter. Number 15 inbounds the ball. Just over 11 minutes left in the half. Passes back to the left wing. Number three gets it on the perimeter. Pass perimeter. Number 15 for three. Number one snatches the offensive rebound. Got the hoop, was fouled, and he'll go to the line. Second. The Connecticut coach may have to deal with some chemistry issues after those substitutions because that gives them a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. He completes the three-point play. Number two is back in the game after a short rest. It's a five-point game. Has it left side. Number 11 passes to the low block. Number four crosses it up. Count the basket and the foul. Oh, look at the physicality. Powered it through the contact and hit. He can't complete the three point score. That last basket was buried by number 14. I love that. Forget about the tip, just send it in. About 10 and a half minutes left in the half. Left wing, dumps it inside, takes the shot. The fadeaway was off the mark by number one. Oh my goodness, how does that shot not fall? He can't get the first. He ties it up. Defense! Defense! 
Number 23. Dishes to the left side. Number 50. Gets it. Down low. Got to stop there. Thanks to the block by number 21. You've got to go up stronger than that. A soft little layup is not a good idea in that situation. Lead pass outside. Number two has it left side. Number 23 catches the back iron and drops in. Pretty. He had just a little bit of room, but it was enough to give him a good look at the basket. About nine and a half minutes left in the half. Number three feeds it to the right. Top of the key. Passes to the wing. Number four. Swings it to the perimeter. Number 21 has it on the perimeter. Perimeter. Hands it off. Number 11. They're going to have to hurry. Number 50 with nice D on that shot. And it's a two-point game. Catches it outside. Number 23 lobs it inside. Left wing. Number three lets it go. Drains it from downtown. The Connecticut coach saw something out there and he wants to make some adjustment. He burned his time out to get his players' attention. will bring a few more starters back in. Number 21 inbounds the ball, and it's a five-point game. Dishes it to the outside. Number 21 passes it to the left wing. Number 34 has it on the free throw line. The three-pointer was missed by number one. About eight and a half minutes left in the half. Pass, right block. Takes it up. The nice reverse layup was made by number two. Good chemistry equals good passing. And good passing usually leads straight to points, which is what we just saw, Vern. Connecticut is really struggling to close down the middle. Bonnie has something for us. Bonnie? The head coach was just talking to his coaches about that very issue. He wants his players to collapse their defense in the paint and prevent the entry pass. Way too many points inside right now, Vern. Thanks, Bonnie. I like how he gets himself into defensive Number position. Three. At the right place, at the right time yet again. Number one inbounds the ball. The Huskies will try to put a stop to this run. Number 21 has it in the paint. Number 11 kicks it out to the wing. That last three ball was drained by number 12. You can't get that lazy out there on defense. You just can't do it. To the middle. Jams it home. No kidding around there. He made sure of it. That's why two hands are always better to control a basketball. An eight-point differential. Hangs in the air. The layup was off target by number 11. Just throw it down. His coach is going crazy on the sidelines. Number two, unloads. Can't extend the lead to double digits. Under seven minutes left in the half. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. Feeds it to the outside. Number 21 catches it baseline. Can't get it to fall from 15. The little fella. What a competitor. No intimidation at all. Got a hand on it. Number one with the rejection, and it's still an eight-point game. Lead pass to the middle. The last shot jammed in by number one. 
Not much you can do about that except get out of his way. Number 40 inbounds the ball. It's a six-point game. Number 34 gets it on the perimeter. Number four passes to the perimeter. Number two hands it off from about 19 feet. Number 34 grabs the rebound, lays it right in. The Connecticut coach saw something out there and he wants to make some adjustment. He burned his time out to get his players' attention. Number four just needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. Number 34 inbounds the ball, and it's an eight-point game. Outside. Number one goes to the crossover. Dishes to the high post. Number 12 bangs off the side of the rim and out. The Red Storm can push their lead to double digits. Number four. Swings it to the outside. Number 34 has it on the free throw line. Lead pass, left corner. The three was nailed by number two. It looks like they're ready to pick up the pace, Fern. They got right into the offense on that trip. Just over five minutes left in the half. Number 11. Gets it right wing. Number 12 nails the jump shot. What a great shooter. All he needs is a sliver of space and he'll make you pay. Number four beats it to the wing. Perimeter passes to the outside. Number two lobs it to the right. Number 40 backs in, Defense got the hoop, foul. was fouled, and he'll go to the That's line. A superior foul. effort to fight through the foul Third and put it down. Foul. Strong move, Vern. Substitution on the court. He completes the three-point play. Number 34 inbounds the ball. They've got their defense, and it's minute. Minute. Number 11 catches it on the perimeter. Swing pass, perimeter. Number 14, backs him down, catches it, top of the key. Number 11, dishes to the right. The up and under, it goes straight out of bounds after the shot. Just over four minutes left in the half. Perimeter. Number two dumps it off. Bounces it to the left side. Number 34 backs him down. Fires from 11 feet out. The bucket is good, and he'll have a chance for one more. Terrific work to absorb the contact, hang in the air, and hit the shot. Pretty, Vern. Substitution on the court. He completes the three-point play. Number 11 hands it off. Number one. Feeds it to the perimeter.
Number 12 gets it outside. Right wing. They need to get a shot off. Number 11. Number 34 hauls it in. That's his ninth rebound thus far. I think the D threw him off a little bit. He made the fadeaway just to get some room and it forced the miss. Gets it right side. Backs down. Number 22 throws it up. Number 34 pulls it down. Number 22 passes to the top of the key. Right wing. Lobs it to the baseline. Goes up. The layup was finished by number 40. What a nice soft touch. Smooth as silk fur. Connecticut has been on the wrong side of this long run, and Bonnie's got a report for us. The head coach and his assistants are scrambling, trying to engineer a plan on defense to stop this run. Poor guy looks like he's going to have a nervous breakdown if they can't turn things around. All right, Bonnie. Number 14. Number 5 pulls it down. The Red Storm have got a nice lead. That's another rebound Two for a team that's doing remaining. a great job on the boards. They've got Number a big 22. edge there today. 156 left in the first half. By yourself, by yourself. Dishes it to the outside. Number one catches it outside. Passes top of the key. Number 12 takes the shot. It's in for three. That's a nice shot. The defense was there, but he rose up and knocked it down. Gets it middle. Number 40 to the rim. Count it. And he'll have a chance for the three-point play. The Huskies are making a few lineup changes. Substitution on the court. He completes the three-point play. Number 32 inbounds the ball. The Huskies down big. Number 12, beats it to the perimeter. Perimeter, swings it to the perimeter. Offensive board by number 32. The last layup, no good. The Red Storm with the ball. They're on a 19 to five run. Shoots from the post. Number 22. Count it. And here's the power bar triple threat replay. Fantastic play. Look at the degree of difficulty on this one. 54 seconds left in the first half. Number 24. Number 40 yanks it down inside. Eight second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Stolen away by number 24. They need to get a shot off. Goes to the crossover. Number 12 shoots the turnaround. Number 24 is called for a loose ball foul, and that's his first foul of the game. Sixth team foul. That's the half, and we're headed to the locker room. Score 50 to 28. Now let's show you the power bar player of the half, Bill. Number two is my choice, Vern. He was the go-to guy from the first half, and he's been the biggest factor so far in this game. And I wouldn't put it past him to contribute even more in the second half. Thanks a lot, Bill. There you have it, the Power Bar Player of the Half. We're all set to begin the second half.
Number 40 inbounds it to start the second half. Number three dumps it off. Spread, spread it out. I'm on the wing, I'm on the wing. Passes it to the right wing. Raises up. Misses the jumper. Let's send it down to Bonnie Bernstein. Well, guys, over the break, I talked with Coach Roberts of the Red Storm. He didn't have much to complain about with the lead they had at the half. And he said, we've done such a great job sticking like glue to their ball handlers, and the result has been a bunch of turnovers for us. I love the hustle I saw from my players in the first half, he said, and I'd like to see that kind of part even more in the second. Thanks, Bonnie. Number one catches it on the perimeter. Lead pass, top of the key. Number 12. Gets it, high post. Number four, lead pass to the paint. And will go the other way. Nice block by number 34. To the rim. The lay-in was good by number three. They're reading each other so well. That bucket looked effortless. Both players knew where to be, the shooter and the passer, to help the other out. Perimeter. Dishes to the top of the key. Number 12. Dumps it to the middle. Number 34. Catches it in the paint. That last shot off the mark. Nine times out of ten, he makes that. A little off, but not enough to deter him the next time. Swing pass outside. Number 34. To the bucket. Number four, corrals the miss inside. Ooh, tried to kiss. Has it left wing. Number two, skips it inside. And it's scooped up by number one. Terrific job by the defense. He read the pass well and made the swipe. Fasten your seat belts. Here's the State Farm drive of the game. This game plan is simple. Just get him the ball. He's your main guy. Lethal. He is so hard to defend. Number two inbounds the ball. It's tipped. The Red Storm will get this one back. Nice heads up defensive work. Believe me, little plays like that eventually seep into your opponent's heads. Cuts off the pass. The Huskies down big. Number 12, the finisher, gets the lay-in. Under 18 minutes left in the second half. Outside. Beats it to the outside. Number 34. Pokes free. And it's picked up by Cincinnati. Look at that takeaway. Great instincts there. He waited until the ball was exposed and jabbed it free. Passes to the right side. Number one gets it baseline. Skip pass, top of the key. Number 12 gets it left side. Number one. Dishes it to the outside. Left wing. Releases from 16 feet. Number 34 is whistled for the loose ball foul, and that will be his second foul of the game. The Red Storm with a comfortable lead. Swings it to the outside. Number four. Feeds it to the outside. Number 34 gets it on the inside. Number two to the bucket. Banks it off the glass and in. Hits it with the kiss. About 16 and a half minutes left in the second half. Outside. Number four gets it right wing. Number 12 bounces it cross court. Takes it up. The beautiful pass led straight to the layup by number four. How about that look? Beautiful cut and a terrific lead pass. Baseline. Passes it to the right. Number three. Dumps it down low. 
Number 34, backs in. St. John's is really sharing the ball right now. Time Nobody is being left out of the offensive game plan, and that does so much for a team's morale. Connecticut calls timeout. The Huskies down big. Sizing up his man. Number four gets it outright. Bounce pass, left wing. Backs him down. Number 34 fades away. Tip back up and in. Look at him rip it off the glass. You have to put a body on this guy or he'll give his team second chance points all game. Number 40 dumps it on. Has it on the perimeter. Number two lobs it to the paint. Number 34 snatches down the offensive board. Pulls the trigger. The 18-footer was missed by number three. Right around 15 minutes left in the second half. Number one hands it from inside. Number 34 is one basket away from a double-double. Perimeter. Dishes it cross court. Number 34 hands it off. I think these fans are getting excited, Burn. They're making some noise now. Number Last eight. basket is made by number 11. Number two inbounds the ball. Number two. Skips it to the middle. Shoots it. Nails it from the wing. He did a nice job of determining what the defense gave him, and he took it. We see it so often, that area from 10 to 15 being a sweet spot. Number one gets it down low. Passes outside. Number 11. Gets it outside. Number 12 bounces it to the right. Number one shoots it off the mark from the land. The D caught a break there. That's his shot, and he was wide open. Outside, passes it to the wing. Number 34 backs in from 17 feet out. Rebounded by number 34, and that's his sixth rebound of the game. Number 12. Number one to the bucket. Gently drops it in. Number one. Nice play there. He got deep in the paint and was able to post up. Youngsters, take some notes, because that's how you work the fast break. Just over 13 minutes left in the second half. Dumps it to the middle. Number two. Gets it right corner. Lead pass, left wing. When you're in foul trouble like this, it's impossible not to let it get into your head a little bit. The Huskies will bring out some reserves. He completes the three-point play. The Huskies down big. Number 11. Puts it back Number up and in. He's so active on the offensive class, he never stops working. 
has it on the perimeter. Number two, dishes it to the high post. Stolen away by number 12. Number 21, number the finish. 21. A huge dunk to polish off the break. Oh my, send it in. Outside, skips it to the high post. It's picked off by number four. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Number 12. Takes the shot. Number four. Pulls it down inside. But it's recovered by number four. Feeds it to the right side. Backs him down. The 15-footer. The shot was missed by number 21. Number 34 is one basket away from a double-double. Banked in by number two. Terrific job to get that one down with the kiss. About 11 and a half minutes left in the second half. Watch the wing, watch the wing. Run, run. Number 21 gets it left side. Top of the key. Number 12. Gets it on the free throw line. Number 14 dumps it off. Number 12 passes back down low. Number 11 from 18 feet away. Tipped back up and in. No way he was going to be denied there. He went straight over his man. Outside. Bounces it to the high post. Jacks up a three. Number Perfect three. shot by number three. They're really clicking out there, Vern. They're reacting perfectly to each other. Those kind of assists are going to come easy to them if they keep this up. Number 14. Passes to the high post. Number 12. Gets it on the elbow. Stolen away by St. John's. He was trying to thread the needle, Vern. There just wasn't enough space for that pass. Number 4. Inbounds the ball. The Huskies down big. Poked away but it's recovered by number 14. Passes, baseline, number 21, the 15-footer. St. John's needs to cut down on the turnovers and Bonnie is near their bench. Bonnie? Coach Roberts stood in front of the bench and said, look, if we can't hold on to the ball, we have no shot to win this. You know how stingy their defense is. Stay alert. All right, Bonnie. The Connecticut coach might have decided to switch things up a little bit. He's gonna take time to make sure everybody's clear on the game plan. The Huskies are going to make some substitutions. Number three. Has it on the perimeter. Number one. Dishes to the right. Outside. To end the run. Number four. Dunks the putback. Oh my goodness. That was a picture perfect putback. The Red Storm with a comfortable lead. That last three ball was drained by number 11. They're in the home stretch, Fern. And if they keep making plays, it's all theirs. About nine and a half minutes left in the second half. Passes it to the right side. Number three. Swings it to the perimeter. Number four. Catches it, baseline. Got it. They failed to double him, and that can be a costly decision. Absolutely. He's too dangerous down low to fool with. Swing pass. Perimeter. Number 23. Catches it outside. Number 15. Bounces it far side. His first shot of the game. 
Number 50 is tagged with the loose that's ball foul, and that's his first foul. First team foul. The Huskies have got a lot of ground to make up. Outside. Feeds it to the top of the key. Pumped away. And it's gathered up by number 15. About eight and a half minutes left in the second half. Number five. Number 11. Unloads. Still controlled by St. John's. Puts it up. The three-pointer was missed by number five. Dishes to the perimeter. Number one has it on the perimeter. That last shot netted for three. Big three from beyond the arc. He really gets his legs underneath him to gain great leverage on his jumper. The Red Storm with a comfortable lead. Number five shoots for three five. on the money. That's how you answer. Give up a three and then get it right back. Perimeter. Number four. Gets it outside. Number three lobs it to the paint. Left wing. Passes to the top of the key. Number 21 hands it off. Swings it to the outside. Only a few seconds left in the shot clock. Number four backs him down. Last basket was good. Oh my, he got that shot up just in the nick of time. Onion. Stolen away by Cincinnati. Number 21 gets it, middle. Last shot, stuffed through, hits it. Oh, look at the physicality. Powered it through the contact and hit. Number 14 is back in the game after a short rest. On the court. He completes the three-point play. Right around seven minutes left in the second half. Pass outside. Number 11 backs down. Gets it, right wing. Number 22, dishes to the right side. Outside, feeds it to the outside. Number five, passes back to the outside. Number 23, gets it, left wing. That last triple off the mark. Outside. Number 14. Gets it outside. Number one. Nails it. Beautiful look. That is so pretty. Number 15. Inbounds the ball. The Red Storm will try to put a stop to this run. Number five. Passes to the right wing. Outside. Swings it to the outside. Number 15. Backs down. The up and under. Number 14. Grabs the rebound inside. Oh my goodness, Vern. Listen to this crowd. This place is going crazy. Dishes to the outside. Number 21. Gets it right wing. Number 1. Hands it off. Rebounded inside by number 14. No dice. About five and a half minutes left in the second half. Dumps it to the middle. Takes it up. Great pass to lead him in. And the finish by number 22. That's a terrific move to the hoop. He took it in at just the right angle. Number 21. Has it top of the key. Number 14. Passes to the right wing. Number 34 dumps it off. High post. Feeds it to the outside. Number 14 gets the offensive rebound. Number 21. Lobs it to the right block. Number 34 with the fadeaway. Bounces it off every part of the rim, then in. Number 34. He can move the ball around so easily. 
Don't see that in too many big fellas. No, that kind of ball control ability just makes him even more dangerous. Connecticut carries it up. They're on a 15 to five run. Shoots from the post. The bucket was drained by number 21. They're on a nice run here, but they still have a long way to go to tie it up, Fern. Number 15 inbounds the ball. Just over four minutes left in the second half. Number 22 gets it outside. Lead pass outside. Number 15 backs down. Gets it outside. Number 22 dumps it to the middle. Good. Let's see that play again on the Power Bar Triple Threat Replay. What a competitor. This is a one-man show. Baseline. Passes back to the right wing. Deflects the pass. The Huskies will get this one back. Oh, that would have been a fantastic pick. Great effort. The, the Red Storm will bring all of their starters back to the floor. Number 24. Dishes to the right block. Number 33. Hands it off. Number 11 gets it outside. Passes outright. Number 24 pulls the trigger. About three and a half minutes left in the second half. Number four gets it outside. Number two passes to the middle. Outside. Feeds it to the left side. Number 40 backs down. Number three swings it to the outside. Number four. Gets it, left wing. They're really clicking out there, Vern. They're reacting perfectly to each other. Those kind of assists are going to come easy to them if they keep this up. Swing pass, perimeter. Number 11. Gets it on the perimeter. Number 12. Dishes it to the outside. Baseline. Backs him down. Takes it in. The defense did a nice job, but the young fella has to finish strong when he gets to the tin like that. Dumps it to the middle. Number 34, the reverse. Hammer. And he will go to the line. He makes the first. The Red Storm will make some substitutions. Gets them both. The Red Storm will make some substitutions. Number four inbounds the ball. The Huskies have got a lot of ground to make up. Number one gets the three-pointer to go. What I like is his ability to see the floor and get it to the guys where they can do something with it. Extremely accurate. 2.05 left in the game. Passes to the Two outside. Number five gets it outside. Top of the key. Number 22 gets it face off. The Red Storm were the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. Probably a bad choice to make that pass, Fern. He couldn't get his feet inbounds by the time the ball got there. Number 12 feeds it to the left wing. Baseline. Number 34 backs in. Dumps it off. Kicks it out to the perimeter. Number four. Get some air. You've got to establish position early if you're defending Murn. And he just didn't beat him to the spot. Dishes to the left corner. Number 11 gets it far side. Inside, the shot is knocked down by number one. Nice job to convert from in close. He didn't mess around right there, just straight up. Number 15 shoots. 
Misses from the corner. 103 left in the game. Lead pass, baseline. Shoots it. Rebounded by number 11. Easy call on that one. It was pretty obvious he got hit on the release. Oh, look at the physicality. Powered it through the contact and hit. Huge play, Vern. That was a terrific play with the game hanging in the balance. The Red Storm looked like they had this one wrapped up. Number three dumps it off. Number 34 gets it left block. Number four cleans the glass. Connecticut takes it up court. Number one lead pass to the middle. Number four, just picked up his third foul That's of the game. That's his third personal foul. Fourth team foul. Defense Number four foul. now has four fouls. That's his fourth personal foul. Fifth team foul. The Red Storm will try Defense to put a stop foul. to this run. Number That's 11 his has picked up his first foul. foul of the game. Sixteen foul. Number 34 inbounds Defense the ball. Foul. Number 12 commits the foul. We're in the bonus, and they'll foul. go to the line for a one and one. Seventeen foul. Gets the first, and that stretches their lead to eight. Two for two, and it's a nine-point ball game. 25 seconds left in the game. Left side, number one from the wing. Puts too much on it. Don't count on him missing too many of those, especially when they're playing off him like that. There's the horn. The Red Storm beat Connecticut, 86 to 77. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern, and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's Pontiac game-changing performance. There were a lot of highlights to choose from, but this was our pick as the most crucial play of the game. The Red Storm of St. John got spectacular efforts like this to take the lead, gather momentum, and get the victory. This basket exposed a hole in the opposing defense that was easy to exploit for the win. Thank you, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Bonnie Bernstein and Bill Raftery. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports.